Okay, so we are on the second day. This is our last prep day before we actually jump into algebra, okay? So even though I'm going to reteach all of these six prep lessons, they're very important because these are things you missed out either in the last two months from school or the eighth grade material. So now we are going to be writing equations based off of the graphs. There are several different types of equations. There's standard form, there's point slope form, and there's slope intercept. Today, all we're focusing on is slope intercept form still. If you are not taking notes, shame on you. I know that you've seen this already a couple times, but you should still be copying it down. So slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where the m is slope, which we've already said is rise divided by run. And we know that rise can go two directions. It can go both up and down. Run can go both left and right. It is an equation. Slope is part of an equation too. It's really y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, but we're not there yet. B is including whatever signs out in front of it, and this is the y-intercept. So this is our starting point. So if I were to give you an equation, you could actually draw the graph. But right now, we're actually just going from the graph to an equation. So the directions are gonna be the same for all. Write the equation in slope intercept form. So you're going to have a graph. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. And we're going to start off very, 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 very basic. I'm going to give you a graph that will look like this. Okay? If I have you write the equation, there are two things that you're going to need to have. You're going to need to know your slope. You're going to need to know your y-intercept. So you're going to want to write down m equals b equals. Just like the video that you just watched, you need to find your slope. You need to find your y-intercept. So from here, easiest thing to do is to find that y-intercept. It's passing through the origin. Therefore, my y-intercept is zero. My slope is rise over run. So I know it's going to be a fraction. My rise goes up one. My run goes up one. From here, does that make sense? Is it positive? Well, yeah, it's going from left to right uphill, so my slope is one over one, or it could just be one. Now I need this. Y equals mx plus b. The equation is now y equals one x plus zero. Now, you will never see the equation written like this. Y equals one x plus zero. Mm, let's think back to last year. If I've got 1x, do I need to put the coefficient of 1 out there? No. So already we can eliminate that 1. So now I have y equals x. If I've got no money in my pockets, do I say I've got $0 plus 0 more dollars plus 0? No, I don't say that I have the $0. I don't tell you about that. I just don't put it. Not having a plus 0 because x plus 0 is still x. We just don't put it. So the equation for this line is y equals x. That's it, plain and simple, we're done. This equation here would be able to help us graph it if we didn't have the graph given to us. But right now we're just focusing on writing the equation. Let's try another one. So just by looking at the graph, you should be able to tell me something immediately. You should be able to look at this and say, hey, Mr. H, the slope is negative. I know the slope is negative because it's going downhill, left to right. Hey, proud of you. You absolutely do know that. So I can put M equals, I can put B equals. Once again, for me, the easiest thing to find is B. B is my y-intercept. It crosses the y-axis at positive three. Okay? If you want to start putting 
a little positive with that, by all means do that. If it's negative, you absolutely have to put that. My slope, we've already said, is going downhill, so it's negative, so I put a negative sign and my fraction bar, or my division sign. So now I'm making my triangle, I'm going down. One, two, three. It's negative three over one. Do I need to leave it as negative three over one? No, I can simplify that to negative three. So now I'm going to write that equation. So now I know that my equation is y equals m, which is negative three, x plus b. Well, it is positive this time, so I'm gonna keep it as positive three. This equation is only for this particular graph. That equation only works for this graph. So you're gonna try one on your own. So I'm gonna put it up, you're gonna pause, you're gonna tell me if you can get it. I don't make good choices, obviously. Let's try that. There we go. Not a straight line, but it'll still get the job done. Okay, so I want you to write the equation of this line. Go ahead and pause me, see if you can come up with it. So I'm gonna pretend you're not there. I'm gonna go back to when I was struggling with this when I was in school and I'd say, okay, self, there's two things that I need. I know that I need to find my y-intercept, I know I need to find my slope. For me, easiest to find my y-intercept is on this axis. So negative one, negative two, okay, so it's negative three. Got it. Slope's going uphill, that's positive. That makes it really easy. So now I'm gonna climb. Climbing one, climbing two, climbing three, climbing four, climbing five, climbing six. Okay, so it's positive six. Okay, I wanna put another little step there for myself. Stepping one, stepping two. Okay, six divided by two, that gives me three divided by one or just three. So now my equation is y equals three x minus three. Why minus three? Oh, because I know that the b includes the sign. So now I've got my equation. This is how we're going to start to use the equation. Now, did this even scratch the surface of slope intercept form? No, but this will give you at least that head start. So when we start into our sections with slope, with y intercepts, once we get to quadratics, because man on oh man, second semester is all about quadratics and parabolas, you will need to know this. And I promise before you leave my class, you'll know how to graph. Okay? Hey, done with the prep modules. Awesome job.